When most people think of Oregon, they imagine lush green forests, waterfalls, coastal bluffs, and snow-capped mountains. But once you get east of the Cascade Mountains, the majority of the state is arid scrubland desert. John Day Fossil Beds National Monument in Central Oregon's high desert displays some of the world's most alien landscapes, of which 14,000 acres were federally protected in 1975. The National Monument is broken up into three units known as the Painted Hills, Sheep Rock, and Clarno Palisades. Each of these is separated by a massive distance. In between the units, the road and scenery is similarly impressive, but once you arrive at each unit, you're treated to the best examples of the desert environment. The focal point for travelers is the spectacular Painted Hills unit. Unlike the so-called red sandstone of the American Southwest, which is actually shades of orange and yellow, the pigments found in Central Oregon result from red ash dating from 33 million years ago. Short hikes lead visitors to see these stunning hues. This valley of reds, yellows, and blacks would resemble a wounded earth if not for the fascinating patterns and gradients that fade into the surface of the hills. Each vibrantly colored ancient layer creates a surreal contrast to the basin's modern species of sagebrush, grasses, and juniper. Heading east, the Sheep Rock unit offers longer hiking trails and more history. The colorful badlands can be spotted from the road and explored by a handful of trails, including the rewarding Blue Basin and Island in Time trails, which exhibit strange blue and green claystone formations. From atop the Blue Basin trail, Guests are treated to sweeping views of distant rainbow-colored terrain. Also located in the Sheep Rock unit is the James Cant Ranch, a pioneer ranching complex with historic farm equipment and buildings dating back to the late 1800s. The final unit, the Clarno Palisades, is a ridge of rocky cliffs. It features the remains of volcanic mud flows from when this dry scrubland was a near tropical forest. More than 170 species of fossilized plants and animals have been found in these cliffs, and short trails allow visitors to explore where these ancient creatures were discovered. Most people are unaware that a landscape like this exists in the United States. Its isolation results in travelers skipping it in favor of less incredible locations. While the Pacific Northwest is spoiled with natural wonders, the journey to John Day fossil beds may be the most worthwhile.